Well, hello. <laughs> Do you notice anything different about me? Yeah, I cut my hair. It's so short. Oh my gosh. Anyways, ignore the short hair. I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, but anyways, uh, this is just a vlog because I haven't been doing anything lately at all. So it's like, what do I do? Because BTS isn't promoting yet. And I mean, they've been releasing some stuff. So I like can't really make video reactions. Anyways, um, so I just decided I'll do this because it's... There's a lot on my mind lately, but yeah. So I'll just give you like a wrap up or not a wrap up, but kind of like a summary of everything that's been happening in my life. So yeah, I think that something that is reoccurring to me lately is my trust issues. I mean, I think that I always talk about that. Um... But just recently, and I always, for some reason, like in my other videos, when I talk about it, I'm kind of, like, I'm blameful. Um, I'm very blameful. Like, it's you, it's them, it's her, it's him. Um, but it's kind of like, it's never like, it's me. And so I think just recently I've been reflecting on my actions and, like, who I am, the kind of person that I want to be, and, like, how I've been treating people. And um, it's pretty crazy because I re I realized this about myself. I knew this about myself already, but it just hit me in a different light when I when I said it and I heard it in my head, heard it out loud, and I said it to myself again in the car the other day. I like was trying to acknowledge like what happens and why I feel this way, and um, this is the root of it all. Because I have trust issues, I don't let people get close to me. Um, I love like hearing other people's story and getting close to them, helping them out with their problems and their issues. And sometimes like I like I willingly ask for it too, uh, to like help them out, but nobody does the same back. And then it's like I get hurt because nobody does the same thing back. But I'm like, why should I get hurt you know, by that? Um, I shouldn't expect anything back. So that was um what was happening with me before and uh, and so then I realized I should just give and not accept anything back especially like emotionally in a relationship with like friends and stuff um then I realized but what happens when they do give back what happens when they willingly give an open hand to help and I realized that this is how I act the more and more that I get closer to people the more I, like, when I realize that I start to feel compassion and I start to care and I start to love, um, like, a person, like, as a friend, as I start to get closer and closer and I start to learn about their life story and vice versa, like, then I realize that I shut them out because I realize that we are getting closer and that's a danger zone because then I'm allowing myself to be vulnerable in front of you and you to me and I don't have an issue with you being vulnerable to me but I have an issue of myself being vulnerable to you and a lot of the times when you're caught up in the moment you can't really identify a situation like that and so like, I know that then I would be talking and I would be pouring out my life story. And by the time I realized, I'd be like, man, she or he knows too much about me. And then I, like, guard myself up. And that's been happening a lot recently. Like, I realize that I do that a lot with people. And so I don't let people get near me. Um, I don't let people get close to me. Um, and so some people, you know, I... Honestly, I always make up excuses. Like, people are going to be like, where you been? Where you been at? You know, like, I haven't seen you in, like, three weeks. And the truth is, like, I've been trying to avoid you. <laughs> like, that's just the truth. Like, I've been trying to avoid you because I can see that my relationship with you is growing. My relationship with you, I'm becoming, we're becoming better friends. I'm learning to trust you. And you're learning to trust me. Um... I can't let that happen because I know that I will be let down sometime. And well, the thing is, I don't know. But because it's happened so much, it's like I can predict that it will happen, you know. And it's because it's like 
a series of events that happens over and over again and what do you do like if it keeps happening over and over again like why do you still keep you know putting yourself in that position and I just felt like it was like history repeating itself or it will so I'm trying to like control it by like not even making relationships at all and so um that's what's been happening with me recently is that I've noticed that um that's been a big issue that I don't let people come into my life and um, especially with two friends recently I've noticed I have been hanging out with them this whole semester since January until now April maybe like the end of like March and then um, and then now it's like now it's April 12th today and I haven't hung out with them at all they've called me to go out to hang out come out eat do something like three four times and I just said no like I don't even lie like oh I gotta do something I was just like I'm not coming out and I realized that I did because we when we hung out this whole semester we had like a lot of late night talks and we had a lot of personal talks and personal life talks and you know and I realized I'm starting to open up to these girls you know and that's great that's great and then I realized I'm just setting myself up to be hurt and I don't know if I'm ready for that because in reality it's my last semester here and these girls are still going to be here for another two or three years two years and I'm not going to be here it doesn't mean that a friendship stops here but it just means that I feel like I can't I can't spend any more of my time trying to invest into these relationships that I know I that I know that I will not maintain and that I will not keep like foster to grow into the future and so that's what's been happening recently and it's crazy because for me I'm like extreme because I I am pretty extreme in everything that I do actually um but like I cut people off like um cold turkey like I do I just cut people off and so for them it it is weird because right after we came back from spring break I just haven't hung out with them I chose not to hang out with them they've called me out a few times and I just don't want to even now when I see them I don't even want to say hi like I mean I'll say I'll say hi but it's kind of like I know that if I say hi it'll initiate conversation it'll initiate let's go out it'll initiate what's been happening in your life it'll initiate you know how's a personal question like they'll ask me a personal question because they know personal things about me and I like I'm not comfortable with like opening that part of me anymore to just to people and it's really hard because I'm kind of like so then what what do I do now I don't know that's the that's the biggest thing right now Anyways, aside from that, um, something really awesome happened too. I've been, I haven't told anyone this at all, but I've been having a lot of money problems. Um, like I'm, I'm paying everything that I have to pay. Yes. Um, down to the point where I don't have enough money for food to feed myself. I don't have enough money to like, yeah feed myself that's like the saddest thing like (laughs) it literally is I cannot even explain it like I don't even have enough money to like buy shampoo I'm out of shampoo I'm out of conditioner um face wash whatever like I know those are I mean like face wash is more of like a luxury but I like to take care of my skin and it's like I don't even have the luxury for that at all main point is I have no money literally I like the only thing that I have right now is like I have like two bucks in this bank account and then I have like five bucks in this bank account and I can't let it drop to zero so I've just stopped using it and I have no gas in my tank um it's like the saddest thing in the world but today it really hit me too and I was like that's that just really sucks that money has to be a big factor into how I can live just even to survive I was like I don't even have money for food that is so sad. Like, I've I've lived on a bag of apples for, like, two weeks before. But this time, it's, like, I'm, I'm living on, like, two or three bags of noodles. 
Like, that's it. And, like, I'm not even eating it because I'm trying to save it. Like, it's so sad. And so, like, it's it's been rough. I just haven't told anyone, but I'm vlogging about it now. Um, and so, like, crazy thing happened today. I had, like, a schedule planned out for 10 hours straight without a break at school. So I had, like, two granola bars left. And I just took those with me. And I was like, I'm just going to survive on these. That's it. So I took those with me and I ate them during the first, um, I ate them during my first two classes and I still had like four classes to go and I was like, I'm just way too hungry. My stomach is growling in the middle of a test. This is so embarrassing. And so I ate and then I was like, what else? Um, but then miracle totally happened because I like one of my classes got canceled. So therefore I have a break and I was like, so what should I do in this break? I was just going to drive back home, but I was like, why drive back home? I have barely any more gas. And so I was like, I guess I'll just stay on campus to see whatever I can do. Um, friend comes up to me and she's like, hey, do you want to go out to lunch with me? And I was like, man, like, I don't have any money. That's what I was thinking. But I was like, okay, if we go, I'm getting the cheapest thing on the planet of the earth. And so I didn't tell her that, but I was thinking that. And so I was like, okay, let's go. And then she's like, yeah, can you um drive us so I was like okay because her car like it really sucks it sucks a lot more than mine but I was like damn like I have no gas nothing and so I go and what happens is she ends up paying for my meal and um she was like no I got it she's like that's the reason why I asked you to come out I had a gift card for this place and like it's more than enough so she pays for my food then she's like hey let's go get coffee and I'm like Okay, like, I'll drive you to get coffee, but I don't have enough money for coffee. So I drive her to coffee, and she's like, hey, get anything you want. Like, I have a gift card for coffee, too. So, like, let's just get anything that we want. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, I have to use it up before I go back. She's going out of the country. She's like, we don't have these out of the country. So I was like, oh, my gosh. And so she pays for my coffee, too. Go back on campus. And I was like, whoa. Like, I was just so thankful because I was so hungry the whole morning, and she pays for my food. And then coffee, too. Uh, yeah anyways um yeah that was just like an amazing thing that happened today like god provides all the time all the time and i was like it's really bad my diet's been really bad just because i don't have enough money to like buy things and i like use all my money to pay like rent and bills and utility and everything and that's where my money went so that i can just live in a house and so that's what I've been doing um and but anyways yeah so that happened and then I go to class I was gonna skip class okay I go to two classes lunch and then I had two more classes and then I was gonna skip class or I had three more classes I was gonna skip my my two next two classes right but I was like you know what I'll just go I'm already on campus so I go crazy thing happens like this guy that's always been in my class. I've never really talked to him. But then I actually... But he looks like my old flame that I, like, love. I'm still in love with. Whatevs. Anyways. Yeah, he, like, kind of looks like my old flame. Um, But I was like, whatevs. Like, I've always noticed that. And then I talked to him. I Like, I've never talked to him before. But today I talked to him. He comes and sits next to me. And we're learning card trick games and stuff. And then, like, we just had a really good time talking and playing games. But then the whole time that I was talking to him, like, I people watch a lot. So even while I'm talking to people, I people watch a lot um, and stuff. But, yeah, I was talking to him. And he, like, he talks and he has gestures and the words that he uses is like my old flame, too. So I was like... Who the hell is this guy? Because he kind of looks like him. And yet now he talks and he and he has gestures and he kind of has everything like him. And I was like, who are you, you know? So as soon as that happened, like, I, like when that was happening, I was like really happy for some reason. Because <laughs> I think it was just because it reminded me of him. And I was like, this is great, you know? Because I miss him so much. And like talking to this guy right here in front of me. It's like I was talking to him. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. But then I was like, 
you're not him, but you look like him and you kind of sound like him and you talk like him. And so it just blew my mind because I was like, so what do I do now? Anyways, I like, I'm stupid because my initial reaction to that was to put up my guard. And as soon as I realized that in my head, oh my gosh, he looks and he sounds and he talks and he, everything just like him creepy like right when that happened bam my guard went up and I like got up turned in my stuff and I just like didn't even look at him and I just left the room like it's weird right because like we were we spent the whole like hour and a half of class just like talking like laughing and then as soon as I realized that I was like oh my gosh like in my head I was like you're not him but I'm like treating you as if you are him oh my gosh like I have to stop and so I just got up and left like I just I don't know he probably was like the fuck you know like okay but for me I was like I can't do that I can't do this right now because then you you're opening up a can of worms like you're opening up a part of my heart that is really sensitive right now and I can't do that and so that's what happened I left but after today like after thinking about it I was like wow like, I felt like that was God revealing himself to me and saying that, like, he's not your old flame. And that there are still good people. There are people that are like him. Um, and he's, you know, a really good person. Um, but I think God was saying that, like, stop, stop making up this image in your head that there's only one of him. Because there's actually, like, and there is only one of him. But there's also, there's also someone who's better than him for you. And I'm not saying that that guy was, but I think he was, like, just a, like, teaser for what is out in the world, you know? And, and, and I, like, honestly, I didn't like it. Because I was like, why are you testing me, God? Ah, and it just made me really frustrated. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like really bittersweet because I'm thankful for it. But I'm also like back into my like into reality. I'm also very like, like guarded about it. So anyways, this is 17 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'll stop talking right now. Um, I have to take a shower, drink some wine and sleep. Peace out, y'all.